This time on Low Boost, we're cutting some holes in our C5 Corvette. first person to say this and I definitely won't be the last. In terms of, of the actual on-track performance of the C5 Corvette, I've been blown away by how well it handles for how old the car actually is comparatively to some new technology. And with some minor modifications in the suspension, not even adding power, the car has become even better. Better turn in, less body roll, just all around a better track car than I ever thought it could be. But that being said, there are some issues with reliability. And recently I'm having some issues when I'm on track for more than 15 or 20 minutes uh, with the coolant temperature, it's pretty high. Now, I do know that I have to upgrade the radiator to a really good radiator with maybe a built-in oil cooler to help out, but I kind of don't want to do that until I upgrade the cam because you have to take the whole thing out to do that. So whenever I decide to do the cam, maybe at the end of the year when I upgrade the brakes, um, <clears throat> then I'll upgrade the radiator. So I'm gonna try to find some different ways that I can help with the cooling of the car without having it to replace the radiator just yet. So what I'm actually going to do today is I'm going to remove my license plate, cut out an area and try to find a way to tunnel more air in as I'm driving. So obviously the car has fans and that pulls stuff to the radiator as well, but the more air I can force through that radiator, the more it'll help. My temps were between 230 and 235 when I was really on the track for a while and I even had to take a lap in a lower gear to kind of let it cool off before I hit it hard again. But I don't want to have to do that. So let's see if this type of modification will help. Let's get started. Now I want to make this so I can actually put the license plate back on when I'm driving it on the street because I live in the state of New York and it's always a pain in the butt when you don't have your front license plate on because cops really like pulling you over. So <clears throat> there actually is a little lip underneath here, but I'm gonna start by cutting out this area and see what actually is behind this. And worst case scenario, if I wanna put the license plate back on, you don't know the difference. ugly as hell. I can smooth it out if I want to. Um, I can still put the license plate back on and no one will know the difference. This is more for track use. Um, but as you get back behind here, and I looked online, I couldn't find any videos or pictures on it really. Um, that's the bumper there. And then this is down here where the light is shining. That is the shroud that leads up to the radiator. So if I cut a hole in that as well, I theoretically should be able to force more air in going straight in that way. Um, so let's see, get a better look with the camera. All right, so here's the dilemma I'm kind of running into. Um, I'm not sure if I just want to cut that away or actually just try to find a way to flap it up so I can have direct in straight on um, and keeping the airflow all going to the radiator, but that could disrupt it down below because down below it comes in like this and into that duct there. So gotta try to figure out what the best way is to have optimal airflow to the radiator. All right, guys, so I'm doing this for you. This is obviously either going to be a great success or a terrible, terrible failure on my part. And then I'll just have to get a new shroud. But here's the thing. It's already overheating as it is, so it's going to be hard to make it worse. It's already pretty bad. So I'm cutting this. I'm here and here I'm going to push this up and see if it flaps into place. But I'm cutting along the seam here, maybe halfway in. It already sags down. I mean, it should, it should, if sagging down makes it harder anyway. So let's see. 
Oh my God, well, there's no turning back now. Let's see. Actually, I'm not even trying to tuck it behind that thing. There. And there. It's actually not, that could have been much worse much worse and maybe I could get some plastic to fill that in or even if I can get if I can cut this out and kind of duct it in more that might even be even more helpful that's coming in and that's hitting the radiator so I now not only cut that and move that up folded behind that but I also cut there in there and then flip that up and I gotta find a way to secure it um, uh, right to it. But now you got, I mean, it's dead nuts straight in flow right on my power steering cooler, my AC condenser and then the radiators right there too. So I'm liking this so far. I may even take some more plastic up here if I can find some spare plastic and have it so it's a full, uh, full through right to that. Um, for optimal airflow. But as far as DIY cost, didn't cost, this didn't cost me anything. Not a dime. You have it. Um, gonna do some more work to it, but as it sits, it might be ugly as, as, as it sits, it might be ugly as hell, but it'll work. Um, and my license plate will fit right back over it, so. Or if you're gonna cover it on the street, you use one of those uh, body filler or license plate filler covers. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm gonna get a, I ordered a, a thing for it. I'm gonna get a screen and I'll paint it black and I'll, so it will blend in a little easier um, than this. I'll paint this area black and then the screen will be black so it'll just be black. Uh, or I might just do yellow or try to figure something out. But make sure you guys stay up to date on all my uploads because I do a Corvette video nearly almost every week right now just trying to get some work done on this thing so i can get it more track worthy um i also have a bmw e36 turbo ls swap that i'm uh working on almost getting that thing ready i want to try to take it to lebanon valley at some point this summer i also have a bunch of videos that i do for car reviews and other great car content my m235 both track experience and parts reviews and a 1953 ford f100 that i'm restoring with my father all right, so next I took the old screws that would go into here and uh, just put them right up into that. And that's holding it up pretty darn good. So now you got nice and sturdy. Again, I am gonna get some, see if I can find some plastic for this to just kind of seal it up and or cut a hole in that so we can have some more flow in as well. So I got a license plate filler and uh, I'm not sure if I can just paint it yellow or paint it black and have something different but um, I cut this out to about the size that it'll be and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to either keep this yellow or paint this area in here black and then I'm going to get a screen to fit exactly around where the license plate is so the air can get right in there so I think that's going to look pretty good as you can see, now you're getting straight in there. That will be directly on my radiator, condenser, and my power steering cooler. Some of you guys may also be thinking I'm going overkill, but better safe than sorry. I ended up trimming out that piece there and I folded it back there. So it's gonna direct it right in towards that. And then underneath, I mean, it's a jerry rig, but I zip tied it and it's flowing there and I'm going to put another piece above it just so it's kind of smooths out all the airways and then maybe down below just so I have this nice and closed off and all the air going on the radiator. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm sure this has been done before, but hey, that's what we're doing. So I had to replace the rear fender liner uh, because this one was all chewed up because the guy who had it before me had the wrong size wheels and tires on it, so it rubbed a lot. Um, but I didn't throw this away. I'm going to reuse some of this plastic to put underneath the front of the car to channel more air to the radiator. All right, so here's my channel. Kind of made some ducting going straight into it. But if you see here, I mean, it's zip tied. It ain't pretty. 
but it's gonna work. And that will channel directly in there. And then I did the same thing on this side. You have to, you know, kind of maybe zip tie a little bit there more and then going in there directly in. So that should increase more. So much more space there. Put a little piece curved down to kind of help smooth things out, but everything is heading in the direction of that. So I'm pretty, pretty happy where that, where we stand on that right now. That's pretty good. So I went to Home Depot and got this like uh, metal sheeting. You know, obviously the steel looks like crap, but we're gonna paint it. And uh, you know, we'll rattle cam black, see how it looks, cut it out. I actually ended up painting the license plate area black, but kept just the outsides yellow in case I wanna put the plate back on. It'll look all yellow. Next, I cut the wire mesh the exact same size as my license plate. Then channeling my inner Lucky Costa, Paint it black and put it back. So that's what it looks like all done up. Now I still see a little bit of yellow there. I may just try to touch it up with some black touch up paint. But if I take this off, I could put my license plate on and it'll look just like it did before I did any of this, which is why I was trying to keep the yellow there. But um, I painted this black and you know just threw that on there. And uh, came out, I think it came out pretty good. And you can get all the, all the air in there. Kind of hard to see, but you're gonna get a lot of air in through there. Now to my radiator and my old, my power steering cooler. So far after driving on the highway for maybe 20, 25 minutes, hasn't gotten over 189, 190 at the most. Uh, it's also 75 degrees out, so I want to wait and try this on a really hot day, see what it does. Um, and also see what it does, uh, you know, obviously at the track, but we can get a baseline by checking it out this way too. Even on a hot 90, 95 degree day, the car still didn't get over 210, 215 when I was really trying to push it hard. We'll see actually how it does at the track. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.